his messages, resurrection after death, paradise and hellfire. Obey Allah and his messenger by heeding the commandments and avoiding the prohibitions. Verse three, 13, shall we believe as the fools have believed? The hypocrites don't fulfill the six prerequisites. I'm going to give you those. They rejected the prerequisites. And I gave you those last week. I'm going to give them to you again. We talked about this last week. Avoiding vice and practicing virtue. Obtaining guidance from the Quran and the Sunnah in the unseen. Benefit by practicing obligatory duties, salah, spending in the cause, belief in the book, belief in the hereafter. After affirming Holy Quran is the book of guidance beyond a doubt, it defines three kinds of people. I want you to look up, folks, because these are real clear in here. We have the definition, brother. Oh, it's the definition of fool. Well, um, <laughs> one who is deficient in judgment, sense, or understanding. Did everybody hear that? That's yeah, one who is deficient in judgment. Judgment. Other words, but yeah, that, that one is one who is deficient in judgment, sense, or understanding. Did you guys hear that over there? One who acts unwisely on a given occasion. Only a given. <laughs> All right, Basu. So, Mukminun, listen up. These are the three people. Yes, mommy. I remember that when uh, Richard was having the debate with Obama, he used the word "fool" for the Russians. Fool? Oh, okay. So that's why I asked him. Okay, I'm glad. You heard it? Of course. Yeah, that kind okay. of fool. Yes, we. I'm sorry. Go back to the last slide. All right, alhamdulillah. So, I'm going to leave that on that slide. There's three kinds of people that are addressed in these verses. Mu'minun, which are the true Muslims. Al-Mutaqeen, which are believers. So, when you see Mutakin, I want you to understand the difference. And that's why, at the early part of the speech, when Mommy said something, I said, I want to make a clear distinction between those words. Because what is the root word of Mutakin? Mutaki or Takwa. Takwa. So, so Takwa, yes, the one who is Taki is one who fears Allah. A true Muslim is, is a Mu'minun. But they may not be practicing as well as they could be. But they're still a Muslim. In other words, if you say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad and Abdul Rasulu, you are a Muslim. Your behavior may not always be indicative of a Muslim. But you are a Muslim. And one day you will get to paradise, inshallah, unless you murder a Muslim. Or unless you commit shirk. Okay? Um, yes, mommy first. In the Quran, I forgot the number of the surah. al Mu'mini is a surah. It is a surah, absolutely. Yes, brother. Speak loud. Someone told me that a Muslim person who commits suicide would be in the hellfire forever. But uh, say like someone who did not believe, they're not a disbeliever, but they never heard of this messed up Islam. I'm going to talk about that later. That's correct. If you haven't, I, I want to I want to cover that in great detail. Actually, when we get there, inshallah. So, uh, can I move that slide, brother? Yes. Okay, jazakallah. So we have three kinds of people: the mu'minun, the al mutakin, and the al munafikun, or the al kafirun. And listen, folks, we won't do it today. But in the next week, inshallah, I'm going to be going into a great deal of detail. You actually may get bored, but you need to know it. Because from the word of kafirun comes the root kafir. And people use that word very erroneously in this country. There are certain people that say, he's a kafir, she's a kafir, they're a kafir, they're a kafir. And we do not use that. And I'll show you why. You have no right whatsoever to call anybody a kafir. You are completely out of line when you do that. And I will prove that to you, inshallah. But I just got to throw that out here right now before I get moving too fast. All right. Verse 6 and 7 deals with those disbelievers and infidels, the al-kafirun, who openly reject faith 
and who were violent in their hostility. In verse thir in the in the thirteen verses, verses eight through twenty, in Surah Al Baqarah, we examine those crafty disbelievers who claim to be Muslims, but in reality were not. The hypocrites, which are the al munafiqun They try to deceive Allah and those who believe. Remember I read that. When they are deceiving none but their own selves, and they are not aware. Salam alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Now, what is kufr? Infidelity or disbelief? The Quran uses the word kufr to denote people who cover up or hide realities. The Quran uses this word to identify those who deny Allah's favor by not accepting His dominion and authority. Kufr thus is an antonym for imam or disbelief in Allah. And a kafir is a non-believer. This type of kufr is called kufr al-akbar or major kufr. And there are many types of kufr al-akbar. And I want to go over this folks. Please don't run around and say everybody is a kafir but us. And you'll understand when I'm done inshallah. So we have kufr in that. It is a disbelief out of stubbornness. This applies to someone who knows the truth and admits to knowing the truth and admits to knowing it with his tongue but refuses to accept it and refrains from making a declaration. So, as a da'i, I might have talked to someone and they say, I know this is the truth, and they say, brother, I know this is the truth, but I'm not going to accept it, and I'm sure not going to declare it's the truth. So that's this kind of kufr, all right? So, so can a person that is said they believe that Islam is the truth have kufr? Yes. Yes. And here's a proof from the Quran, Surah Qaf, Surah 50, verse 24, throw into hell every stubborn disbeliever. Then we have kufrul inka, which is disbelief out of denial. This applies to someone who denies with both heart and tongue. And Surah Nahl, Surah 16, verse 83, they recognize the favors of Allah, yet they deny them. Most of them are disbelievers. Does it say all of them are? No, it doesn't. So can we say that? No. Absolutely not. Kufr kibr is disbelief out of arrogance and pride. The disbelief by the devils, Iblis, is an example of this type of kufr. Kufr juhud is disbelief out of, I think you elongate that, don't you, sister? Kufr juhud. Uh, I don't see the word. You don't see the word. Oh, sorry about that. This one. In this Jehud? Jehud, yeah. Sorry, yeah. That's why. Okay. It's a Jehud. 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 Yes. Elongated. It's a wow, long vowel in there. Or, yeah. It's not elongated? Well, he said Jehud. No, Jehud. So it's, is it Dhamma or wow? No, it would be wrong. Dhamma, okay. okay. <coughs> so, Kufru Juhud is disbelief out of rejection. This applies to someone who acknowledges the truth in his heart but rejects it with his tongue. This type of Kufr is applicable to those who call themselves Muslims but who reject any necessary and accepted norms of Islam, such as Sakat or Salat. This is, this is powerful stuff, folks. We have people that are Muslim, but they reject Salat, they don't pray, and they don't pay Zakat. And here's a proof of what I'm selling you. In Surah Namal, Surah 27 and verse 14, they denied them our signs, even though their hearts believed in them. So you see, you can have what we call cognitive dissonance, folks, where your belief and your practice is not the same. That's what psychologists call cognitive dissonance. You can believe something in your heart and choose not to practice it. 
That means that you're on kufr. Does it mean you're a kafir? No. no. But you're on kufr. Okay. Kufr nifaq is disbelief out of hypocrisy. This applies to someone who pretends to be a believer but conceals his disbelief. Such a person is called a monophic or hypocrite. Surah Nisa, Surah 4, verse 145, Verily the hypocrites will be in the lowest depth of hell. You will find no one to help them. And this is the root in that particular uses of the word. Kufrul Kur. Brother, if you want to sit down, you can. You don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. All right. Disbelief out of detesting any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. And here's the proof of this. I just want to finish these so next week we can move on. Um, and here's the proof. Surah 47, verse 8 and 9. Perdition, destruction, has been consigned to those who disbelieve and He will render their actions void. This is because they are averse to that which Allah has revealed, so He has made their actions fruitless. Folks, you cannot afford to be adverse to what Allah has revealed. It is dangerous because it puts you in that kufar area. And then the eighth one, disbelief due to mockery and derision. Surah Tawbah say, was it at Allah, His signs, and His apostles that you were mocking? So there are Muslims that mock people. There are people that mock us. Make no excuses. You have disbelieved after you believed. This is dangerous stuff, folks. I think that's... No, there's one more. Let me throw this one quickly. Disbelief due to avoidance. This applies to those who turn away and avoid the truth. And Surah Kaf, Surah 1857. And who is more unjust than who, he who is rendered of his Lord's signs, but then turns away from them? And this is why, folks, it is better to have never ever become a Muslim than to become a Muslim and leave. Because it takes you into Kufr. Then he forgets what he has sent forward for the day of judgment. So, and then there's number 10. Disbelief because of trying to substitute Allah's laws. And this can take the form of rejection of Allah's laws without denying it, denial of Allah's laws and therefore rejecting it, or substituting Allah's laws with man-made laws. It says that men will make what is halal haram and what is haram halal. And that's what we've done. That's why the laws of America says you can't have a second wife, but you can have a mistress. And you won't give her any rights. And many of our politicians have them. We've got to close out because we've got to pray. It's ten minutes till. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, we'll pick back up on May soon. Uh, we got to slide 57 today. I'm sorry I can't entertain any more questions because we've got to pray. And we've got to be steadfast in that because Allah has called us in that. I love you all. Assalamu alaikum.